So welcome again guys to my channel. So it's been a while since I made a pit the video of how to limit your um, FPS using the Riva Tuner. So I'm here today to show you how to um, show something like uh, your system RAM usage, uh, CPU usage, GPU usage, or basically ben benchmarking. I'm here to show you how to do that exactly today in this video. So first of all, um, let's get started into it, I guess. First of all, you just have to go to this site, MSI Afterburner. You just have to download this, so download it. I'm gonna place it on the desktop. You can place it when, wherever you want, so I'm gonna place it on the desktop. And don't mind, my desktop is kinda messy right now, but that doesn't matter right now. So yeah, so as you can see, I downloaded the MSI Afterburner. This is this is gonna be the a pretty quick um, tutorial. So all you have to do is extract all and extract all. There's as you can see, you can see the that exe file here application. Just have to double click or press enter to launch it, or you can right click then open it and. That's basically it. Yeah, you just have to follow this. Uh, if you want to read, just read it. Yes, but you can just have press um, next, uh, then change this to I accept the term of the license agreement. So here you have a choices. If you only want MSI MSI Afterburner, then you just have to uncheck this. But I mean, if a tuner is really uh, I mean, Riva Tuner plays a huge part in this tutorial as well. So if you don't have Riva Tuner, I recommend giving this a check. If you have Riva Tuner, then just uncheck it. Or if you want to reinstall it, then give it a check as well. But yeah. So yeah, you can see, as you can see, I'm installing it in the program files. You can install it wherever you want. Next, then just press install I already have MSI afterburner in my PC so I'm not gonna install this but you just have to press install after all this and after you finish installing then launch the software so yeah there you go as you can see MSI afterburner so click yes run as admi administrator then just wait for a uh, second yeah, so if you launch MSI, Riva Tuner is also gonna launch automatically. It's gonna be in this tray. As you can see, it opened there as well. So yeah. Um, so yeah, this um, I made a a recent uh, I made a tutorial regarding this. If you want to limit your FPS, then go watch my previous video about it. But so for now, we're gonna be focusing on um, benchmarking. So first of all, I'm gonna have you to go here at the setting. So if you're wondering uh, if my team, why is my team different, then you just have to go to setting, and you can go to um, think profiles or oh, wait, it's different. First, yeah, I think this user interface. You can choose any team you want. So I'm currently using MSI Mystic Afterburner. Um, the process should, shouldn't matter, uh, different teams won't change the process regarding, so it doesn't matter what team you use, because we'll be using the monitoring uh, tab right here. As you can see, I already have um, um, check, check marks here, so as you can see, um, GPU temperature, GPU usage, so if you want, um, so let's see. So for example, if you want to see your GPU temperature and GPU usage, you have to press this. You have to check show on this show on screen display to show it in game. So yeah, you can show text or graph or text and graph or both. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you will see there. And uh, yeah, so basically you just have to check every um stat um everything that you want to see memory craft memory usage 
uh, CPU temperature, CPU usage, and RAM usage, frame rate, frame time, and frame minimum. I actually set this to graph to see the graph of the frame time as well because I really like it. And you will see the stutters and stuff. So, yeah. So, that's all. Uh, you just have to check that. So, this is where Riva Tuner comes, comes in. You just have to go Riva Tuner on screen display palette. This will. Uh, this is the one or the software that's gonna show the entire um, entire stats or the one that you just check from the previous step. So this is where you can change the color of your text or the benchmark. This is where you can change it. You can change it to whatever color you want. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the orange because I like orange. Um, you can choose vector 3D or raster. I, I um, personally prefer raster 3D, so I'm using it. You can use vector 3D if you want, but I'm gonna stick with raster 3D. But it doesn't matter if you choose either of them. So, frame limit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it to 60, and uh, that's basically it. That's basically it. You just um, then click minimize minibines and launch a game that you want to play and we're gonna launch a game that's easy to run so let's open my steam i guess and uh we're actually uh launch, let's launch uh genshin impact instead and uh genshin impact launch so yeah, this is how I conduct my benchmarking test. So 60 FPS. So as you can see, there you go. You will see the GPU usage, um, usage, and then temperature. There's also the speed of the GPU, the VRAM usage, and um, CPU usage. 16% and temperature. My CPU is pretty hot right now. I don't know why but it seems like I have to change the paste or the thing in it. It's also I need 3.9 megahertz. So there, that's all the proce process to to your um, benchmark to benchmark your game. So if you enjoy the video or like the video then please leave a like or subscribe or dislike if you dislike the video. And see you on the next video. Thanks for watching again and bye bye.